At least on that side of things. The USA space people there say it is. <laughs> That's right. Actually, it'll be all right. It'll be Mike Leinbach and, and, and others who will make sure that it's uh, they really say whether they're ready to go and fly. All right, well, Mike Mangione, um, the former Close Art crew member, I appreciate you uh, taking the time out of your schedule and talking to us and showing us. Uh, uh, yeah, we, um, we're we looking at our Lightroom camera, and uh, I just got in touch with the Close Out crew. Um, seems that it uh, looks like they didn't attach a, a hold back latch that holds the uh, the door open on the LAA. The, uh, there's a swing door that swings open and holds it against the wall, and uh, nobody in the closeout crew could uh, verify that they put in the quick release pin to hold it back, and, uh, and we're looking now. We can't tell. Too, it doesn't look like it by the camera, but it's uh, blowing around a little bit, so uh, we're thinking that they didn't put that pin in. So uh, I don't know if, if there's enough time. I'm not sure how much time is left in the hold. If might be able to either expedite them up there or just uh, just let you know that that's not attached at this point in time. And CGSS, I have 16 minutes left in the hold. Is this a constraint to launch? We have no um, hard constraints, but um, but the door is just going to be it's going to be flopping around and. Uh, NSP entity. NSP is with you. But let's see, a question for you guys. Um, how is the door actually constrained from, from moving right now? And when we go through OAA retraction and thinking about the possibility of re-extension, what's your thought on, on how the door is actually going to move and, and handle that part? And SPE and CGSS, if I could have you go to 161 to discuss this. SP copy. 161. This is shuttle launch control. At T minus nine minutes and holding, launch director Mike Leinbach and the rest of the team are discussing a potential issue with an inner white room door. The issue is whether or not the door has been pinned back and secured. SP two and two. Go ahead, SP. Yes, ma'am. We've got some words from CGSS on the white room configuration for you. And I'm ready. Hi, right, NTU CGSS. Um, yeah, we looked at it. Um, we did verify that uh, the pin is not installed, so the door is um, loose. Um, there is a handrail out of the out the uh, outboard side, so the door, uh, in a worst case scenario, um, would not be. It's not going to be able to. Uh, swing all the way out and contact the orbiter. Um, there's a physical handrail that's going to stop it. Um, at this point in time, we're just um, just going to um, looking at the fact that we're going to sustain a little bit of damage and uh, and just deal with that. And uh, we're ready to support. And uh, just uh, we just like you to brief the crew that um, if there's a possibility that they have to get out. That the, um, they're just going to have to deal with that. Um, the hatch. It's no interference with the hatch opening or anything like that, but it's just um, it's going to be flopping around in there. We're just going to have to push it out of their way. And no issues with the hatch opening, is that correct? That is correct. And your recommendation uh, is go for launch in this configuration? That's correct. CGSS launch director? Go ahead. Yeah, would you characterize the vibration that we can expect on that door as the vehicle is descending? Uh, obviously, it doesn't reach its max until the, until the main engines and the SRB pass by. But early in ascent, when it might become a debris hazard, what what kind of vibration levels are you talking in there? Well, there's there's an there's enough vibration as it as it passes to break the the lights inside the white room. Um, it bounces around. A bit, but um, we don't think that anything is going to um, fatigue or break off or anything. Um, we don't think it's it, it, it's going to bounce around that bad to where it's going to break the door off or anything to that. Right. Matter. No, I don't think so either. The worst vibrations as the SRBs pass by. So, okay, copy. NTDSB. 
Go ahead. Hey, Charlie, from my perspective, two things we're going to need to go do. Number one, we will watch the uh, OA configuration during retraction, and, uh, and, and I think we shall be watching that if it does exactly what we think it's going to do. Even if the door swings open and contacts the rail, that's the configuration that, that we would expect it to be in. The little words you need to pass the crew that that could be the expected configuration if, in fact, they have to reopen the hatch and after we've re-extended the orbit access on. And I copy that, SPE. And SPE, do you concur with CGSS's recommendation of go for launch in this configuration? I do concur. I am go for launch in this configuration. And CDR, NTD, T12? CDR copies all, and uh, we understand, and we're go. And I copy. And SPE, NTD, verify, ready to resume count, and go for launch. Yes, go. And launch director, NTD. Launch director. Yes, sir. Step 1124, our launch team is ready to proceed. Okay, I copy that. I'll do my poll at this time. KSC Chief Processing Engineer, verify no constraints to launch. No constraints. Thanks, Steve. KSC Safety and Mission Assurance. KSC Safety and Mission Assurance is go. Copy. Payload Launch Manager. Okay, let's go, Mike. Thank you, Gennaro. Range weather. Weather has no constraints to launch. Thank you, Kathy. And Ops Manager. See, launch instructor, ops manager on 212, Mike, the MMP is not working any issues. You are go to launch. Okay, thank you, sir. Endeavor launch director. Yeah, go ahead, Mike. Okay, Fergie, vehicle's in good shape. The weather's beautiful. And so on behalf of the entire shuttle launch team, good luck, Godspeed, and have a happy Thanksgiving on orbit. Kudos to your team, Mike. It's uh, our turn to take uh, home improvement to a new level uh, after 10 years of international space station construction. Endeavors ready to go. Copy that. Thank you, sir. And to do with that, you are clear to proceed. I copy that. And attention on the net, we have 14 seconds left in our remaining hold here at 9. And NTD ISO. Countdown clock will resume on my mark. 3, 2, 1, mark. T minus 9 minutes and counting. TLS auto sequence has been initiated. CISL, go ahead. Recorder activation complete. Copy all. This is shuttle launch control at T minus 8 minutes 38 seconds and counting. The launch team verified that the inner door of the white room was not secured, but it's not a concern for launch. The crew has been briefed, all poles have been taken and we are go for launch at 7.55 p.m. Eastern Time here at NASA's Kennedy Space Center. CLS is go for orbiter access arm retract. And Endeavour OTC had the great flight delivering Leonardo to the space station. The legacy of his discoveries rides with you as you continue the quest for knowledge. Godspeed. Endeavour copies all. Thanks, OTC. The orbiter access arm has now been retracted away from Endeavour. It's the walkway used by the crew to enter the shuttle and can be returned to the position within seconds if necessary.